Hey, yo, what's up? This is Hassan. So, shout out to TJ Got Kicks 89. So What's up guys, TJ Got Kicks 89 here back with another video. This time we've got an Air Force One. This is the Air Force One B, otherwise known as the 3M Snake. So the Air Force One B 3M Snake, that's a really long name, was a Co.JP release not the jordan one co.jp releases for some of you dummies out there but this was a japanese exclusive from back in 2001 they had a few air force ones that came back again just commemorating that co.jp release uh, in 2016 or 2017 you had the kith collection which was similar to the fat joe terror squad brown and pink um brown with pink swoosh um you've got the Coco Snake Complex Con Exclusive back in 2018 which was basically a white upper with the panels and the yeah the panels being a snake and you've got the mochas you've got the acorns that dropped recently and there will be a few more I believe that's in Nike's books because for some reason the Air Force One is probably going to be cool again so yeah let's get into this review so this is a quick 360 look for you guys the quality map damn so good so good no debris I'll tell you why janky ass logo I'll tell you why I took off my glasses so you know what's up so the Air Force One 3M Snake like I said is a Co.JP exclusive which meant that it was a exclusive to the Asia region at one time back in 2001 when this dropped very very limited pair back in the day really hard to find closer to 2012 when people were starting to look for these and other Co.JP exclusive pairs on eBay I was one of them wasn't successful the only one that i could cop back in 2013 was the lux air force ones that i'll probably make a video of but these are a very interesting pair actually the release day i tried to cop this obviously like the astrazeneca covid <laughs> q i wasn't able to go through because of the bots actually it makes me wonder if the astrazeneca um, vaccine Lions had bots too, food for thought. But this was obviously sold out on release day, and then I believe in the sneakers calendar two to three weeks ago, or it could have been a month ago, they said uh, they put up some shoes that they were supposed to be supposed to have restocks before Raya, I believe. And this was one of them that was going to get restocked. I believe the wheat mochas also restocked, couldn't come up on those. But I was just browsing through the Air Force One section of the Nike Malaysia website and found this pair floating around in UK 8.5 knowing that it's probably a return pair or a blemish pair but I don't care there's still pairs on there going for retail so don't pay resale for this shit go on Nike get your pairs and be happy move on with your life I'm certainly happy that I got mine I'll point out the few blemishes that we have going on with the shoe but this is an Air Force One silhouette hey that's me in the back Air Force One silhouette, 3M panels on the back, 3M panels on the front, 3M panels on the lace holes and also the, the top. You've got real genuine leather. Let's pull out the... Look at that. That's good. And on the side too. Damn. So, going up the laces you don't have any spare extra laces with this shoe all you have is this flat black standard nike lace um the tongue is also leather uh you probably can't see but on the lace uh lace centering hole here that's what they said on the skateboarding websites back in the day but on this lace centering hole here you could see that there's it's 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 real leather 
on the tongue you've got this janky ass nike air logo which is supposed to mimic what was on the stuff back in 2001 because obviously um, printing and and embroidering was not automated then it was all done by hand so this was just supposed to be like a mini throwback of some sort going on to the back wait before that you've got this printed fake ass snake swoosh but it looks so cool i mean this is a really nice consolation prize for for me and other people that could not get the coco snakes that's a really good shoe very very good quality i mean it would i would say it's comparable but that looks cooler with the uh, snake panels more over on the shoe but this is a good come up instead uh printed obviously not real snake peter and wwf will kill you for that on the back you've got real leather again same thing on the on the on the toe and also on the medial side here same kind of leather with this navy nike air on there straight running down and on the inside i believe i can take this out hold on give me a second you can take it out surprise surprise you've got an ortholite like insole um with the nike air hopefully this lasts better than most jordan ones nike air heel prints but i hope this lasts this is all that you get um far thicker actually brings it back to um the early 2014s 2012s when they had like this thick of an insole now you barely get shit in your shoes but still cool nonetheless put it back in probably gonna b-roll this oh my god wear your shoes guys just wear your shoes and white cup so with the nike air logo in the back there um some say that this should be blacked out i mean the 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 line going around with the air should be blacked out but i think this is a much more cleaner look white and black on the bottoms the two pivot points bruce kilgore thank you so much for designing this shoe cultural icon transcended the basketball court tj got kicks is definitely wearing this on the basketball court now the tech specs on the air force one is basically a full length air sole unit if you want to check out what's inside this shoe and everything else that has full length air i believe i made a the the, the jordan 3 cool grays check that one out I've, i pulled out um a full length air unit which is basically what's in the jordan 11 jordan 7 jordan 2s jordan 10 whatever has full length air has that unit and it's embedded right within this midsole the only problem that you the only reason why you can't feel the full length air unit in the air force one is primarily because it's squeezed in it's sandwiched between the polyurethane midsole that was that runs from heel to toe in the shoe so basically when you put your foot in you have the feeling of the polyurethane first compressing and then if you can compress any further then you get to the full length air and then obviously after that is the uh, second layer of polyurethane so that takes care of the review of the i was gonna say jordan air force one 3m snake kind of coco snakeish but really cool nonetheless i promise to show you the one blemish so notice that on this side you have a bit more of a square toe this side you've just got a rounded toe nothing else really much to complain about but that's the only reason i believe that that these restocks are coming back onto nike is probably they're just like like the carmines if they actually do have that but i doubt so because they finished it all in the in the in the outlets in the us and everywhere else we didn't get an outlet restock here in malaysia for the carmines just so you know nike show us some love too um this is just probably the only reason why it was returned as you can see a bit more boxy a bit more rounded but hey no one's gonna notice especially like me if you wear your pairs no one's gonna really care i'm gonna look fly in this the 3m shines like a bitch check that out it's like way more 3m than the jordan 5 can give you 
But yes, that takes care of the review of the Air Force One 3M snake thing with the nice as buttery leather. Retail is 549 on the Nike website for these things, but it's well worth it. Let me say, like the Air Force One popcorns that we're gonna review for you next next week or so, whenever it comes in, it's well worth it. If you are an Air Force collector, if you, um, shout out to Nelly, man. Like, if you love Air Force Ones, you wear them on the court like I did, and I still do at times when I, when I have time la, to, to, to not pick out like other non Air Force One shoes to wear on court. But this is a beast to use once you break it in. Yeah, man, really, really happy with this purchase. 3M Snake, Air Force One. Shout out to Nightwing for doing that. Oh, I'm out.